AB, I'm going to I'm going to put it to you. Susan's point is so right. The Republican Party abandoned all policies when the platform became just for Trump. And now Trump is for an illegal coup. So what is it? Is it fair to say that if you're not for Trump and his illegal coup and what is now a deadly insurrection that resulted in the deaths of five people, you should get the hell out, Lisa Murkowski. It's not clear why you were there in the first place. I know it's I wrote about this weeks ago in the bulwark that the Trump was going to have to break the Republican Party. He simply with his psychological needs has no choice. He's always on offense. He always has enemies and somebody always must pay a price and be blamed for usually the mistakes he's making. He doesn't lead. He doesn't unite. He has no organizing principles in terms of policy or agenda. It's it's about him being in the spotlight and people submitting to him and then punishing people who don't. The idea that he can go after last night's, you know, hostage video without punishing uh, former Senator Bob Corker or Lisa Murkowski on Twitter in the next 12 days is lunacy because he wants retribution and his followers want retribution, which is why they were attacking Mitt Romney at the airport the other night and Lindsey Graham at the airport today. No one no one gets away with not being loyal to President Trump. And so the choice now is for Josh Hawley, do you continue as a seditionist Trumpster in MAGA world looking for those voters as you seek um, the, to win the, the primary nomination in 2024? Or do you uh, or you become Mitch McConnell and Lisa Murkowski where you have uh, you have uh, screwed over President Trump and you are a traitor and you're an enemy of the state? And you deserve um, all of the recriminations um, at every level possible, from voters to donors to. So this is this is an all-out war, but it's been brewing for a long time, and they've been aware that they were just hoping it would end, and he would sort of slink off. From Brad Raffensperger to Doug Ducey to to Brian Kemp, everybody needs to pay in Trump's eyes if you're not with him. This is why he tweeted out a punitive message about the vice president after that rally when the vice president refused to to break the constitutional order for the president. And those people, as Hadi Prisbala noted in the last hour, were coming for the vice president. And if he was anywhere near them, uh, you know, his life was really in danger. And so the idea that anyone can pick up the pieces now and say, we're going to go back to being for uh, market, free market capitalism, free trade, limited government, debt reduction, uh, and law and order on the moral high ground, and just hope that, that this the voters calm down is crazy. This is a cult, uh, and Donald Trump is going to work very hard to keep it that way. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.